So I'm very familiar with where you're drilling and that's a very aggressive gravel. You know, uh, we have high water tables depending on the time of year. Like right now, there's a lot of flooding going on along where you could be drilling. So we really have to think about the porosity that the pore space that's in there. So a conventional drilling fluid on its own is not going to be able to effectively drill that. We need to start thinking about instead of high yield bentonites running, you know, a 120 to 160 barrel yield, medium yield bentonite, maybe even go into what the oil field uses in a 90 barrel. And then we got to start thinking about filtration control. So uh, pack polymers, um, talk to your mud engineer, tell them you want to get to a filtration of, you know, 12 cc's, 10 would be great. Then start thinking about lost circulation materials, uh, calcium spun fibers. You know, think when we're gonna use um, lost circulation in a heavy gravel area that could be affecting a river, we wanna make sure we're running NSF approved products that aren't going to impact our environment, right? We need to shut down that porosity so we can drill that hole, but we can't hurt everything else that's happening. So you need to look at NSF approved. I don't wanna see cottonseed holes or uh, plastics or the things we get out of the oil field. We have to be stewards of our environment. So and the biggest thing that I can suggest is get a frack tank out there, mix up 5,000, 7,000 gallons of mud. Depend on our diameter of our hole and our depth, but if you know a 2,500 gallon water truck is not cutting it, think about going to a bigger volume because if I can build a whole fluid and I can continue to hit it as I'm losing that fluid out into the formation with enough lost circulation material to then stabilize it, I can progress. But what happens is, is we mix up a thousand gallons and it's gone. So then we start mixing on the fly and we can never get ahead of it. So sometimes it takes using a lost circulation material, an engineered drilling fluid and going in there and stopping that porosity zone so that we can get to bottom. And then you can do it. Sometimes it's going to take, you know, casing advanced. There's a looking at another drilling method. Um, how high is the water table? Is there a better time of year that we can go in and drill this? Really, it's, a, it's coming in with a complete plan that isn't just, dang it, we lost this hole. Let's try everything again and maybe we'll get it. You have to look at all the impacts and think about how can I stop my fluid loss into that porous gravel? If we can do that, we can be successful. And a lot of times it takes having two to three times the hole volume, sometimes four times the hole volume, so I can stabilize that hole. Then I can continue drilling, we can get through it, we can stabilize, we can get our product in, and we're in a good, good situation.